It's your boy Warlow back with another my team video. And we got our first Halloween trick or treat content, which I did call you. I did say, hey, expect some Halloween content soon. And the person I'm about to pop up on the screen, I mean, if you can afford this, might be the best point guard in my team. I mean, this he, I think there's a debate to be had that he debatedly is, but we're gonna go review all the cards in this set. Stuff of that nature see who they like so let's pop it on screen and bam right here we got hoop invaders arrives tomorrow in my team just in time for halloween make a monster squad with these new players zach levine keith van horn bo rafliff and diamond iverson now we pulled diamond iverson and one are hitting gym packs so i was on another one of my subs accounts EGs and that AI was absolutely garbage. I mean, his release is good, but that man sucks. And this makes me think there's not going to be a lock in this Tuesday because it says make a monster squad with new players and more. And usually it does not say more when 2K tweets. Like if you go in their tweet and you go look like last previous weeks, they usually don't say more when there's more cars. So this makes me believe that. This makes me believe that they showed five diamonds, like one, two, three, four, five. So this makes me believe that there's going to be a big set tomorrow. So it might not be as many diamonds, but maybe get some amethyst, some rubies. I think it's going to be a big set and maybe there's no lock in this week, which would be nice for the prices of these cards. Actually, if there isn't, you know, what, what would be actually would be actually nice. But we're going to go review Zach Levine. We got 2KDB, which is absolutely nice having 2KDB back. And they got the pictures on the cards now, which is so beautiful. Zach Levine, 6'5". He has a 6'8 wingspan at 6'5". is actually, a, that's really elite. Because most people that are 6'5 don't have that elite wingspan. 11 Hall of Fame badges. Comes with 11 Hoss. Has half limitless, offset shot specialist, half shifty shooter absolutely elite playmaking now all he needs is a move on forcer and i think this is your best point guard in my team i i think you have to say he is i mean we're gonna go review him in the game but oh my god this zach levine might just be the best mike the point guard in the game like he does only have a 64 block i will give him that that 64 block is glaring a little bit I wish that block was a little higher. I'm not gonna lie, because that block seems kinda, kinda low. I mean, he has 95 perimeter, but I mean, he comes with every badge. I would say give him immovable, give him paint roller. I mean, he can dang there hold every single badge in this game, which is actually nuts. The fact that Zach Levine can hold every badge in this game, which is just crazy to say the least. I, I can't believe, like, we in, we in October. Oh yeah, Zach Levine. I heard that his step back is good. Let's see. I ain't seeing it. He looks like his step back is good. That jump shot is beautiful. Let me take off real shot percentage, but I'm just already seeing that jumper. That jumper is so crisp. It's so easy to time. I mean, I should be. I'm, I'm gonna have no issue greening it. No issue. This jumper is absolutely. Yeah, this is your best point guard in my team. I, I don't care. Like, he's basically Ja Morant, but better. And he has an absolutely elite lean. Did y'all just see that lean? Oh, my God. I kind of want the Zach Levine, but I got to save all my MT for Wimby. So, I can't even get this card, which I would love Zach Levine. But this is a lot better of a Tuesday. Year. I hope tomorrow we can get a guaranteed deluxe pack tomorrow. But it makes me think we're not. Because there's way less cards. We might, get, we might just get a random... You know, deluxe where you have a chance of getting a goal card. But I'm absolutely loving that leaner is so beautiful from the right side. And from the right left side, I mean, he can still pull it. It's not the greatest on the left side, but I mean, he can still pull that leaner up and green it. Like, it is like green. Can I green it? Oh, my God. Hit that turnaround. Green beans. Like, man, this card is so good. This card, I wish this could be my point guard tomorrow. It just sucks being... It sucks not being able to buy every card in this game because this card is absolutely the best point guard in my NBA 2K25 my team. Like, he is so good. So, 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 so good. But yeah, I'm loving Zach Levine. 
let me go to the left green beans i'm loving this car i can't wait to do gameplay with them tomorrow if someone dms me because i ain't pulling them so next up we got theo ratcliffe now i was looking at his car the other day i'm not sure what his free pointer is for the most part i'm not really sure what it is does theo ratcliffe have a good free pointer let me can check real quick theo ratcliffe have a 25 three this man is garbage I kind of hope there isn't a lock-in set. Actually, he can't shoot. What's his height? He's 6'10". Like, why would I use this car over, like, example, over this guy? Like, uh, what's how you spell his name? Jamil? Jamil? Or Jama? I don't know. Maglore. Maglore. Excuse me. Maglore. Like, I'm, I'm just comparing him on here. Why in the world would I run this card over Theo? Like, why would I run Theo Ravliff? There's no sense. He has a 52 three point. He can hit the three ball sometimes. Have similar stats. The only thing he has is hands. Like, that's his best stat. Guess he's a better defender. I guess. Speed of ball is about the same. Rebounding is only in the 82s. That's kind of low for your guy that's supposed to be your power forward. Not gonna lie. Theo Radcliffe is looking like a mediocre camp. I'm just not seeing it with him. I would just buy him a glore personally, to be honest with you. And I would try Theo Ratcliffe, but there's no Theo Ratcliffe here. I don't know where he is. I, I don't know where Theo Ratcliffe is at, though. So maybe he's on the 01 Sixers. I do not know. Maybe he's on 01 Sixers. So he might he might be there. Theo Ratcliffe. No, he's not, he's not there either. I, I don't know where the heck Theo Ratcliffe is. So we're just going to have to test him out tomorrow. But next up on the list, not list, um, Keith Van Horn. Interested to see how he is this year because, like, typically in other my teams, he never has a good jump shot. That's something that always holds him back somewhat. Holds, holds him back somewhat, like, always. But Keith Van Horn, easily we can look at his stats. His stats line looks 93-pointer. He has a very good Hall of Fame badge. Now, if you're going to look to badge him up, you probably want to give him a high-flying defender, immovable paint roller, pick dodger, rebound, probably every defensive badge. I mean, he doesn't have playmaking, so you don't got to worry about that. Just try to boost up those defensive badges, in all honesty. Basic dribble style. Devin, Bo Devin Booker release might be in. I ain't going to lie. That could be interesting. Let's see how that jump shot looks. Devin Booker release is about it, it is interesting. Oh, uh, ah, that upper. That upper. That upper is, like, cooked. That upper is cooked. That upper is cooked. Okay, sure, I'm playing on semi-pro. But bro, I'm not even greeting with him on semi. I mean, I, I mean, bro, this, this upper is cooked. It feels like I'm shooting this shot for years. Do not buy Keith Van Horn. He's a absolute bum. He has the same issue, I feel like, well, when I'm on old gen, Dr. J has where his shot feels longer than what you really think, and you just miss it every time. And I feel like that's the same with Keith Van Horn. You got to hold this shot down for a long time. Now, if you play on jump, like let's say you just play on jump, it's not going to be that bad. It should be pretty easy to time overall. Like if you play, if you play on jump, you're a guy that plays on jump and you're watching this video, then Keith Van Horn should be, should be actually fine because his release releases at a better time. Like his release release a lot better when he's on jump, but when he's on Oh my god, I don't know why I'm releasing wrong. Water. Green means. But wait, I, I'm just not feeling Keith Van Horn. No good dribble style. Release is just too slow. I'm not feeling Keith Van Horn, to be honest with you. I, I feel like this set, it's really pink diamond or bust. Unless they show us some cars tomorrow that are better. I'm just not seeing it with this set. AI is really not that great either. Animation, that's not working against any actual users. Leaner's not... I mean, he has Pro 2, but I swear Pro 2 got slower. That's just I like percent I don't know. But, yeah, that, that's personally my opinion, though. AI, if you're an Iverson fan, then you can go use AI. Cool. I just don't see why you would use Iverson, personally. I don't think he's that great. And my team, just don't see. I don't think Theo Raffle just by Maglore. Keith Van Horn, Jumper. I don't know. Unless he's, like, uh, unless he's very cheap. I mean, you could just buy a Doug West instead. Even though he's not small for it, I mean, you could just buy Doug Wesson. Or, I'm trying to think of another 6'10 small for it in the top match. Because Keith Van Horn's probably going to be 100k. Assuming he's going to be 100k like Michael Porter. Like, 
I guess we gotta wait and see what his price tag is, but... I mean, yeah, I'm not liking the defense overall. He's not bad. Keith Van Horn's not horrible. He's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll rank him as okay. I just don't think his jumpers are gonna be that consistent, but... Yeah, that's my thoughts, though, about this set. I think it's a great set if you have unlimited MC, because... Zach Levine is gonna be a dog, so if you wanna sell your point guard, it might be a little too late, but... Because he is bet way better than John Morant. He is the best point guard in my team overall, and, I, and I'm staying with that opinion. So I'm going to see y'all in the next My Team video. And give me a key!